Hey everybody, it's Bracket Tech 248 here. We're going to be working on the wiring, putting lead, wired leads on LEDs. Excuse me, I kind of forgot my script. Uh, so, I'm um, getting my headphones uh, adjusted and so you can hear me. Um, so, <clears throat> as an experiment with different ones, I've lost one of the videos because I was doing so many projects. I actually had to um, wipe out a uh, memory card to use for some other filming project. So, um, that prototype video got lost. So, um, I found a faster way to do that, and that's what this tool is. Uh, this is for making circuit boards by wire wrapping, and I'm going to use that on the uh, LEDs, and that's going to probably speed up the process. So, um, if it does, great, I'm going to continue using that. So, I'm going to make about a few LEDs and on camera. That way you gotta get an idea. So this is not gonna be a elongated uh, video like the other uh, parts of the series of the Hellfire Rebuild. So one of the great things uh, about this tool is I've made a ton of circuit boards with this tool. So uh, I'm always building some type of electronic prototype board. And I may do a video on how to use this for doing this, that. So stay tuned and if that comes up, you get to see what this is truly used for. Um, and they still make these, by the way. Um, a lot of prototypers still use these. Um, stuff like that. So, um, I'm going to ground my LEDs. Or I bloody did with them. Uh, those are in the wrong package. Um, there we go. So, I'm going to grab my LEDs that I've got the resistors on. In the earlier video, I'm loading um, the resistors to the LEDs. Um, got a lot of work to do. I am literally almost behind. I'm a little behind, and that's due to some supply issues. Um, I talked to one of my suppliers, and they says, "Yeah, we we've got a backlog, and um, so I'm, I think I'm 50th on the on some of their items. So, uh, what I like doing." when I'm ordering stuff is when they're in back order is uh, ship supplies when order is complete because then it makes it easier for my supplier so they don't have to constantly put shipping in, out of their pocket because of back order so it's just simple just to have everything done at once so okay so I'm gonna go ahead and pan the camera down I, I may just shorten the legs let me do that real quick sorry about the shakiness I'm just gonna um, collapse my tripod that I use for my camera down one more notch and that way we can get the camera a little bit closer so um, so I'm gonna go ahead and do that and I can move my my iron rack, rack here okay ooh it does not like that angle Okay, I gotta switch my tripod a little bit because it's uh, being leg heavy, and it's not a heavy uh, tripod. So, <clears throat> Let's see if that likes that better. Yeah, all right, that likes that better. Okay. Sometimes you have you you try to line stuff up and uh, and things don't work as planned. Okay, so I'm gonna grab a few leads here. Um, and my stockpile of leads that I've got pre-prepped. Um, I'm just going to grab a pinch or whatever wherever it goes down. And, um, and we'll just go with that. Okay. So the first of all I'm going to do is I'm going to double check <coughs> which uh, lead is the firing lead and which lead is the load lead. Now the purpose of that is to make sure that um, that I'm not. So I can always reverse that uh, if I do make a mistake. But the problem is when you make a, <coughs> excuse me, uh, that type of mistake, uh, it, and you have to rewire. It just makes it more complex than because then when you go back and have to do some type of maintenance, you're going, wait a minute, why is that on the firing side and then not on the uh, on the load side? And you have to. Now, fortunately, the system is designed to work a test in circuit. I'm trying to get my alligator cap cable to behave. It's not behaving. Ah. 
Runway alligator clip. Let's do this. Let's see. I'm trying to make it to where everything stays in place. I may have to use my handy hand. All right, that's better. Okay. All right, so we're gonna do a test, and then I've got my little little box there that I built, and it's got an LED right here, and then this is the uh, negative, and this is the positive. Um, the firing. Uh, <clears throat> indication will go out on the negative side so this is the negative loop this will go out to down to the rail or slot depending how I'm rigged and then <clears throat> when the circuits complete with the uh, igniter this LED will either uh, if we're in firing status it will light red and if we're in uh, load status it will be green so we're gonna go ahead and why am I not working So that's that's red, and that's green. So the red is close to me. Okay, now we'll get that out of the way, and we'll grab my handyman, my handy hand here, and we'll clip that. Unfortunately, you can't test this with um, with this on the handyman. All right, so. The one closest to me is the firing one. So what we're going to do is here on the tool, we're gonna, uh, there's two little holes. I don't know if you can, uh, where's my lens, where's my lens? Yeah. So there's two little holes there. One is the uh, uh, where you will put on the lead, and the other is where you're going to thread the wire. So there's a slot here right there so the wire is going to go through that slot so that's what you do it's a pretty simple tool sorry about the background noise folks it's just a little muggy this morning when I got up and um, so that's right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to pick a spot I'm going to grab my tool watch this Boom, it's on. Okay. We'll grab our common our common lead. We'll do the same thing. This tool I've done numerous uh, circuit boards with this tool. I think I made one about oh Let's say about four years ago, five years ago, maybe six. That's all you do. Really simple. I'm not exactly in frame, am I? Sorry about that, folks. <clears throat> so this is a really nice tool to have. The other method I was doing... Uh, was I was soldering each one of these leads and it was just being problematic and it was just slow so within a few minutes I just put on three leads I mean literally so all right and I'll solder these in it I'll just solder I'll set this aside and I'll solder it solder it in a bit later so we'll do a few more so again I'm gonna turn around <coughs> <clears throat> you know what? Let's see how good of a ground this is. Just for, just for giggles. It's so one thing I do like about some uh, tools. If they're all metal, you can turn around and you can ground it. That's the firing side. And that's the... So firing the firing side and once again is right close to me. Right, I'm gonna take my um, filter off my light. <coughs> I am not using a video light. I'm just using a desk light to illuminate a little bit better. So 
So again, you can see I've got it right in that slot. I don't know how good it shows up on this camera. That's the problem about using a small display. And then what I'll do is just give it a good twist. <coughs> Grab my common. Now the reason I'm using red, green, and white, I'm using white as my common. And the, that way I, I know where that's supposed to go. So there's no particular thing. That's just my personal preferences. If you're going to build one of these, you can do it at your color preferences. And then grab the resistor lead. And again, I'm going to heat shrink all this together so it's going to be more sturdier. Sometimes I can't get... There we go. And all you do is just give it a good spin. So. So every time that little woof sound you're hearing is my fan. I it it was like muggy. It, it was like got up this morning, did some things, and then when I got to back in the house here, uh, it was just muggy. Oh, come on, come on, slow down. There we go. I may not do a whole lot of these in front of the camera um, because this is, it's just literally it's just a long gated task here and that so this one here has got a marking on it it's got a red marking so this is one of the ones I've uh, previously marked so you see that's flashing red and that's flashing green now also my box here um, I'll get in view. If you look right here, where my probe is, uh, it flashes. So, so if I go across here, it's just going to flash. It's not going to hurt anything. So, alright. Get that out of the way. These handymans are really handy to use. Now, just because I was twisting that, that was just to make sure I've got it thoroughly twisted. Uh, I slipped out. So. There are some of these tools where you can put a, a, a spool on these, and you can just... Uh, it's all one system, and you can just go all all through your traces. I mean, there's there's some guys that can whip out um, a wire wrap board like there is no tomorrow. This one's got to burn. Sometimes you got to re twist these with your hand. So, get myself. Oh, let's see. Alright, I'm going to back my focal point one notch. Yeah, let's go two. Green. 
once I get my I start getting my ribbon down I go really quick with this tool I I, I built a uh, timing a logic timing uh, circuit with this in about uh, once I was happy with the, the schematics <coughs> I must have built the um, the circuit board uh, with this tool within about 20 minutes okay so this one here you can see the green is on the firing uh, towards me and I'll go over here to the red so there's the red so all right <clears throat> so green's gonna be towards me this time so this is why I always retest, even though I've got these loaded <coughs> stuff like that. Now you're wondering why I'm putting the resistor on the common. Well, the reason for that is because if there's a short somewhere, the resistor is uh, going to isolate the LED from the short. And that's the purpose of doing it that way. Also, the common... Is going out down the uh, firing cable to the slat in the rail, or what they call, or or a spider tie. That's one. That's one terminology I forgot about. And a spider tie is basically this guy. It's just this guy here, and it's this guy. This is a cable here, and then you got your uh, your dual your uh, connectors here. So it's basically. Uh, alone um hookup for your um your uh initiators or your igniters so and i will be building these too um <clears throat> i'm just not sure what type of pattern i'm gonna do now because um one of the firing systems that i want to get for doing larger events um this went to a larger connector fortunately it's a common connector so that's the easy part it's not a proprietary connector it's just a proprietary wire like all the wiring i'm doing here <coughs> nothing is um proprietary it's just how i'm wiring it so it makes it proprietary to more of my system so my goal is to make all my slots and rails be compatible with these other systems but i gotta re one company I got to reverse engineer, so I got to order their rail. <coughs> well, excuse me, their slot, because that's what they call them, and reverse engineer the pinouts on that, because they don't want to. Well, we don't give you the uh, pinouts because you might use something that can damage the equipment. Well, I'm a master cabler, guys. I can build stuff. I've been doing this for a few years. I built a guy a custom um, uh, link snake for between to go through his uh, effects racks and his uh, sound equipment. <clears throat> and he actually liked it. And he actually paid more. He he paid more than I bid uh, because I had a good turnaround time. And he says, you know, I I you're light on what you cost, so he. Give me an extra couple hundred dollars, which is extremely appreciated. And all my all my custom cables that I do do, uh, they, I do I do all the warranty and stuff like that, <coughs> within reason. Someone gets mad and just chops it up because they decide to act like a two year old and mess it all up. And <laughs> guess what? You're buying a new cable. That's not repairable. <laughs> Somebody's got a little afraid, so I'm just tightening them up a little bit. <coughs> These are not soldered or tinted. <coughs> because this is this is actually um <coughs> stranded wire. Alrighty. <coughs> Let's grab the next new next load. Grounding this to uh, 
to this handyman. Actually, go uh, down. Okay, so fire loads on me, towards me, reds towards the back. I gotta figure out a way I can insulate this, and I can just do it like that. <coughs> Anybody's got any suggestions on how to do that? I will be more than happy to take them. This is so much faster than trying to solder these. We're already in 20 minutes into this video, and I'm just cruising right along here. Oh, don't forget, uh, first Wednesday of every month, uh, I'm going to be doing channel updates. So stay tuned for that, because it's coming up here. And I do believe this is today. Today is the 4th, 5th, 6th, 7th. So be on the 7th. Um, that. I am thinking about, I am seriously thinking about moving in it on Thursday. Um, because I am doing some more volunteer work, and, um, that's usually, it's either Monday, when, uh, Tuesday, or Wednesday. So I'm doing, I'm going to be doing some additional volunteer work. Matter of fact, um, he's supposed to be sending me the script for teleprompter, so I can get that into that language. I have to check emails. Let's see. So how many I got so far? One, two, three, four, five. I got five done just just in twenty minutes or so. Okay, we'll see what this one does. Someone was probably like, why you didn't make a circuit board for that? Well one little problem. Okay. That's a lot of how to uh, make sure the LEDs in the right way, and then yeah, it just it just was not feasible. I want to be able to do an emergency repair. I don't want to have to work with a circuit board and try to make emergency repair. That's just me. Come on, get in there. There we go. Another thing I'm not clipping the leads on there on these is so um, the reason I'm not clipping out is because that way I have a reference of which way the LED is and I'll probably and I will have backup loads already made so I can easily pop those in solder those saw the old one out and solder the new one in okay I'm gonna do green so you can see uh, once I get the rhythm down it gets pretty good Is that one character that says "do"? Oh yeah, it's just Homer Simpson. Celebrity voice impersonated. Disclaimer. Okay, on six.
And what I'll do in uh, post production is I'll 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 write, I'll uh, chime up at how many um, uh, LEDs I've done in X amount of the time timeline. Um, that way I can give you a final count. So and uh, since the recording's been going, we've been about on about 25. I've been recording about 25 minutes. I forgot my count. What was what? See, I was doing this and I forgot then. Now, that's the nice thing about the setup I have. And yeah, green stored to me. Okay. That's all I need to know. I also like to let everybody know that I have a slagger um, line or merch line. So, I've got three t-shirts up. There are some more being designed right now. Uh, I'm in the process of working with some artisans to uh, get some more shirts up. So, they're available for adults, <coughs> kiddos. So, and the purchase, in, in, and the purchase of the shirts uh, is going to go towards uh, conventions, to go to conventions, uh, support shows, um and uh <clears throat> in the channel here so one of the <clears throat> excuse me one of the main um conventions I want to get to uh is the National uh Fireworks Association which I am a member until um around this time of 2019 so um <clears throat> So, um, yeah, if you want to help out, you can do that. Uh, just go to uh, <clears throat> the GoFundMe um, playlist. There's a link on there. I'll put a link on that on this on this as well, so you can click right onto it. Um, you can also um, <clears throat> click on the Google icon and uh, go to my web page, and there's a tab that says uh, GoFundMe. So, I uh, can do that as well and I appreciate all donations I am a very low budget person okay so one let me count how many I got so far one two three four Five, six, I got seven, eight, nine, and ten. All right, so I'll just go ahead and do ten of these. And like, I, so this one here, it's got some, it's got some red on it right here on this lead here. Um, so that tells me that I've tested this one. So I, since I could see that. Now I know which way uh, red is, but just to make sure that I didn't mislabel that, we'll go ahead and do a quick test, and that was correct. So, all right. In um, this coming up um, <clears throat> YouTube video update channel, uh, we're going to do the analytics behind the scenes of my channel. So that's going to be uh, very interesting. Kind of throw a curveball on that too. I uh, hope you all uh, tune into that. Uh, so, why I'm doing this, I also want to talk about um, texting uh, while driving. Um, here in the 33rd state, or even talking on your cell phone uh, in hand, uh, here in the 33rd state, um, it's getting serious now. Uh, they're not monkeying around. Uh, it three times is a possible jail sentence if you're caught three times within a certain amount of time. <clears throat> uh, so yeah, just don't text and drive. Okay, if someone sends you a text, it's gonna be there. It's not gonna disappear and uh, if you don't read it and stuff like that. So it's kind of like an email. Okay, it's not gonna disappear. Also, don't drink and drive. That's a whole ball of wax. 
drinking and driving. Um, <clears throat> I mean, it can be some serious penalty fines. I mean, financially, it's going to screw you over. Uh, and you definitely can lose your license. And on the worst case scenario, uh, you know, it's a prison sentence. So on the worst case scenario, you know, just don't do that, you know. It wrecks a lot of lives. Yeah. Also, not just uh, alcoholism either. Uh, any <clears throat> any controlled substance, any prescribed medications. Uh, don't get behind the wheel. Okay. So, uh, fire, the firing one is towards me on this LED. And always, <clears throat> as always, you can always uh, like. Uh, give me a thumbs up if you like the content of this rebuild. <clears throat> Sorry about that. I've got a frog in my throat. Uh, um, please comment too, as well. Um, let me know what you let me know what you think about the rebuild process. <clears throat> also, I like to let you uh, say that you are more than welcome to uh, share my videos on your face your favorite uh, social media um, sites like Facebook Twitter I think you can do links to Instagram if that's if I misquote that please let me know uh, I don't really know and it's 11 o'clock here at Sprague attack 240 HQ uh, it's the wrong bird it's about 30 seconds off today I have not returned that clock, so I've got to go through and um, turn that clock back one hour. Yeah. Okay, I got a burr in here somehow. Okay. So yeah. <clears throat> Alrighty. One more. And then we're gonna heat up the soldering iron and then we're gonna permanently uh uh attach these. So green is towards me, red is facing you. So I thank you for inviting me on your uh smart devices or your computers. Or smart TVs, whatever you're watching me on. Also, I'd like to ask you guys if you're watching my videos. I'd like to know where you're from. You know, what state? Uh, what state of the union? Uh, are, you know, are you you know, across the pond, as they say? Uh, I'd like to hear from you. Uh, one of the things I want to do um, here on this channel is geographic. And what I'm going to do with that is I'm going to put uh, a pin. I'm going to buy a globe and I'm going to put a push pin with the flag uh, on your country. So I would love to do that. If you want to join in on that, please do so. I'd like to hear what from country you are from. Um, even if you're here in the United States. <coughs> That. Here's a challenge for you on, on the United, here in the United States. What state union number are your, is your state? There you go. I'm in the 33rd state of the union. That's where my QTH is. I'm originally from the 31st state of the union. So, give you a little bit of geography. You can have some fun on Google. And I'm putting the wire in the wrong spot. That's why I'm having a little bit of trouble. I'm going to start heating up this iron here shortly as soon as I get this last one wrapped. I got a burr. So when you get a burr with stranded wire, you just basically take your nail and just gently rub it out. And then you just take your wire and give it a spin. Now you're probably asking me why am I using stranded versus uh, a solid lead? Well, um, stranded to me seems to have 
more robustness as far as you know breaking off and stuff so now I'm out of sync with myself uh, there we go so there we go on um, the last LED and we're gonna start I'll get my iron heat up. It's gonna take a keep uh, a couple minutes to get the iron heated up. I don't like running it until I'm ready to use it. Heck, I act like that didn't even spin. That's a first. All right, attaching wire, take two. All right, <clears throat> all right, I'm gonna reach in here and flip a switch. Got three fancy LEDs on here. <clears throat> Get my solder. Okay, so I'm going to do the rest of these off camera. Uh, this is going to take too darn long. So, uh, but anyways, here's the ones I did. Uh, one by one, just kind of soldering the lead directly onto the leads. Uh, that was just a, a nightmare. So, all right, I'm going to bring this other hand because I'll be able to do two at once. Yeah. That's going to save some time. All right. All right, so I'm going to bend my leads. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn these over so I can get a cleaner shot. So for the resistors, I think I'd better leave it as this. All right. All righty. Let's do a check with the iron, see where we're at. Okay, starting to smoke. Okay, it's not exactly up to temperature. Don't do this. I've been doing this for so long. I just don't even feel it. So when this is all said and done, I'll have uh, <clears throat> literally on the main control panel uh, 115 LEDs on there. So that's 115 cues, and then the salute cue and the finale cue will be on a separate setup, but they'll be in the same system. <clears throat> Are we ready? Sounds like the kiddos in there having fun around the neighborhood. So. All right, I gotta change uh, <clears throat> setups. This is just out of my focal point with my eyes. I'm losing. Losing a little bit of my eyesight <clears throat> as far as depth goes. <clears throat> Alright, hold on. Putting on my visors. So you've seen me with these a few times, and uh, that's just to get me a little bit closer. Take out the magnifier. Get me a little bit closer than what my glasses can do. All right, so back to that. I'm going to go ahead and zoom in a couple times. 
There we go. Sorry about the choppiness. That's just the way this camera's set up to do. Alright, that's two. Grab two more. Alright, you know what? I'm gonna go on a time lapse, guys. And I'll see you on the uh, on the opposite side. And mic out. Okay, and we are back. So you can see how long that just took me. Uh, trying to do each lead one by one. Uh, yeah, it did not take me long. I'm st actually still under um, uh, YouTube's le time length of one hour and three minutes. So that didn't take me long. So I don't even really have to do time lapse. So that's kind of cool. Um, so, anyways, um, like I said, I'll do the rest of these off camera because it's just it's tedious, and I know I've got some really long videos, and there's other things people want to do. So, um, all right, everybody, I um, hope you enjoyed this sh uh, short clip, and um, again, um, this coming Wednesday, the seventh, I do believe. Yeah, that's what it says. Um, Ready to do a channel update, so, um, am I a little soft? I probably am. Uh, <clears throat> uh, I'll do a channel update, and then, um, uh, from there, um, uh, might make the final decision to move it to a Thursday, because the volunteer schedule has, um, got a little bit complex. Uh, so, um, with all great things, um, uh, that I'm doing here. Um, I'm hoping you join the rebuild of this. Uh, as soon as all the supplies will get in, uh, we'll fin finish up and uh, start putting stuff into the control panel, uh, wiring the control panel to the new safeties and stuff like that. And uh, that's going to be a really cool thing to do. And so, <clears throat> and then we'll get into the power supply, battery packs, and and then we'll start hand looming the wire. So that's going to be the expensive part because stripe wire is not cheap. It's fifty-five dollars a reel, and um, fortunately, I'm making fifty footers. So one reel will give me um, four runs, and uh, that's going to be a plus, but I'm also going to be wiring uh, looms for the other systems. One uses a um, uh, 25 pin D, uh, D sub, uh, the other one uses a 36 pin, um, no, excuse me, 50 pin Centronics. One uses a 36, um, and the other one uses a 36 uh, pin Centronics connector. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to make an adapter off the Centronics connector. Uh, let's see, is that in here? Yes, it is. Uh, and I actually happen to have one. So, this is a Centronics connector. This is a 50-pin. Uh, uh, I've used these for making uh, pack snakes uh, for some sound equipment, and they work quite well because they got these nice butterflies on here. Uh, <clears throat> two of the systems use these. Uh, one uses a 50-pin, which is this one, and about that would be about a 36-pin or so. Uh, so I'm going to probably hand loom one of those for that and that's going to get expensive because I want to use a thicker gauge than what they're supplying. Um, I think they're only supplying like 24 gauge. Uh, <clears throat> I want to get that current down range. So that's why I'm going to hand loom uh, the wiring. And I'm going <clears> to <throat> come off of these connectors and go into uh, where is it? And then I'm going to go into one of these connectors. So here's your Centronics connector. Uh, this is a 50-pin. I don't have any 36s, 
and I'm going to go into one of these connectors, and I'm going to be able to run 20 or 18 gauge wire. Um, the other connector they use uh, is a 25 pin sub D, which is this guy here. So I just I know it's kind of counterintuitive to do something like that, but when you're running long runs of wire and really thin. Um, you tend to lose, have a lot of line loss. So, anyways, I'm going to get out of here. Thank you for watching. Um, as I said throughout the video, please do not text and drive or talk on your cell phones. Please use Bluetooth technology. Uh, do not drink and drive. Uh, that would be uh, absolutely th frowned on uh, everywhere. Um, don't even, you know, if you're on could, 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 uh, prescribed medications that make you drowsy and stuff like that, you can be a charged with a operating vehicle under influence of a controlled substance okay fines are like ten thousand dollars or higher uh it's a loss of license uh, in worst case scenario it's a prison sentence so uh unless you want to screw up your life you know i'm not promoting that but please do not do that um uh, please use fireworks ex um and pyrotechnic devices responsibly. This year, in 2018, there were 16 fatalities, over 250 major injuries, and over 100 plus uh, minor injuries. What's well, use pyrotechnics in a way? Let's make 2019 zero. Okay, let's do that. Big zero. Um, <clears throat> and as always, you can share, like, um, give me a thumbs up, comment. And, on, and as usual, you can share me on your favorite social media sites. Thank you for watching. I'm Sprague Tech 248. See you on the next edition. Bye-bye.